Hello mate, welcome back. In this video, we're going to work on creating side images. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon. That really helps me out. And of course, an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons. You guys are legends. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. So in the most recent Daz Studio video I created, we discussed how to create side images. So what I'm going to do is include a link to that video in the description down below. And you can follow the instructions there to create a number of still images. I wouldn't focus on animation just yet. Making sure that when you choose the size of your one by one ratio box that you set your images to be 375 pixels by 375 pixels that will make sure that your side images or your avatars appear at the correct size once you've created those images we're going to go back into our rempi code and code them in so Create those side images now by watching another video and then come back to me and we'll code them in. And here we are back in the code. Now that we've created enough images for the side images for one character, what we need to do is actually define them. So in our core folder, what we're gonna do is right click and we're gonna create a new file. And this one we just call it image defines.rpy. Make sure you add the .rpy, otherwise you're not going to get very far at all. So what we need to do now is we need to say image side mum and we'll just say neutral first. That's the first one we'll do because we want the default image for the character so that the whenever we declare that character saying something, we can just basically <laughs> not have to worry about it. Now, what you can do in this instance, if this is the default expression is you can remove the neutral part there and just say image side mum, and that will work just fine. So the next thing we need to do is we need to declare the image itself and its location. And in order to do that, all we have to do is open our quotation marks and we need to identify where we've saved the images now i've saved mine in a specific directory so that i can keep mine um, organized you can save them wherever you want really as long as they're within the images folder somewhere so i'm gonna go with avatars forward slash mum forward slash and then for this one i'm gonna go mum underscore neutral this is the name of the file so don't you know put over whatever you've saved the file as make sure you put that in here and then remembering that you should have saved it as a png file to preserve the transparency of the background you can save that in there now i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it oops that was silly uh png add that there and hit enter there and i'm going to re-add these ones in as well so we're going to do happy there and we're gonna put angry in there. Those are the three images that I've created. You can do as many of these as you so choose. It really is up to you. You can have so many different expressions. Um, this really is all the code there is to actually telling Rempi what the uh, expressions will be. And you can literally put any word. Rempi doesn't recognize happy in the same way that we do. It just sees that we're telling, if we were to say in the code, um, I'm happy then it would display this side image and we will go over that a bit more detail in a couple of minutes so we'll just get this here and we'll say uh, angry here like so so those are our three side images next thing we want to do is actually declare our characters so what we're going to do is we're going to create another file in the core folder I'm going to call this one characters.rpy now we don't have to put any of these things in separate files i'm just doing it for the sake of organization you put the things wherever you want to put them and in this file is where we're going to tell rempi what letter what prefix we need to put at the start of a line of text in order for a character to say it and this is where we're also going to tell rempi what side images we're assigning to that character so let's just start off nice and simple I'm going to say define m um, equals character with a capital C open brackets and the name's going to be mum 
or mom more politely and then we're going to give her a text color now if you aren't sure about hex text colors i would strongly advise you go on to google and there's a hex color picker if you just search for hex color picker you can get those nice and easy so i'm going to go with c4 b033 and then i'm going to put another comma now we're going to say image and we're going to say equals and then we're going to tell it what our image side image code is so there we go i've put in mom there and this corresponds to this so if you put something different here if you put dave here then in this quotation here you would put dave so that it knows what images to display so this is what the character or the customer the player is going to see on the screen when this character talks this is what tells RenPy which side images to use for that character. So as I say, this doesn't have to read mum. You can put whatever you want in there, as long as it corresponds to whatever you've put in here. So that's what this bit does. Side is a bit that tells RenPy that this is a side image we're declaring, so that this is one of the images that's gonna appear in the bottom left-hand side of our screen when that character speaks this bit is the interesting bit that we're going to play with now and what we're going to do is we're going to go into our one underscore zero and we've got an auto event that happens here so what we're going to do is we're going to type in m as if we were expecting our mum character but notice there's a capital m and we have to get that right so what we're going to do capital m and then we're going to put this is me being neutral then we're going to put m happy lowercase happy because that's what that says in our image defines lowercase happy there it is case sensitive so make sure you get it right and then we're going to put some brackets now i'm really happy then we're going to add another one in and we're going to put this one angry and we're just going to put in here don't make me mad sucker Cool, so now we should be able to run our code and we will see what that has achieved. But before we do that, I'm gonna very quickly just run over my code one last time and make sure I haven't made any boo-boos because it does happen, I occasionally make typos. So we've got our image defines there. Make sure that they're all in quotation marks, make sure the locations are all correct. Make sure that they're all spelled correctly. That's fine, and we come back over to our characters here and we check uh, define M, that's our character name, that's a prefix, character equals mum, that's cool. Color, oh, there, there's a typo, put an equal sign in there, make sure you got an equals. If you get any orange text inside these brackets, you've missed something out. And, or it might be a different color depending on whether you're using the same atom packages as I am. Okay, image equals, we just make that look a bit nicer as well. There, like that. And then remember to save your code. So here we go. And as you can see, this is me being neutral. Now I'm really happy. Don't make me mad, sucker. Now, remember to double check your code and make sure you've got everything case sensitive. I do make typos. So um, if you find that you're not getting images, check the cases of all of your code to make sure that you've got everything exactly as it is. Remember that RemPy and Python are very case sensitive, so they will be looking for lowercase letters where they need to be lowercase letters, etc. And that's really all there is to creating side images. There is an animated variant that I do explain in the previous video briefly, and I have got a video on my channel about using animated film strip images if you want these to be animated. Word of caution something that I'm also a victim of myself is if you have too many film strip animations in your game you will slow the game down it will take two or three seconds to load into a scene because it needs to it needs to work out how that animation is actually going to work in the scene so don't overburden your system if you have a slow system and bear in mind that not all of your players are going to have supercomputers either so they may struggle to play film strip animations as well so just something to consider if you're not desperate to use animations stick with still images because it will be a lot less labor intensive on your hardware anyway that wraps it up for this video thanks ever so much for watching let me know what you think in the comments below as always 
and I will see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves. All right, guys. Bye bye.